Hi everyone, I'm Juliet and I'm just doing a quick video to show you how I do my day-to-day -day makeup. For my base, I use almost exclusively Jekyll Black. Now, I just want to say I'm not an expert in beauty, I've not taken any course or anything. What I'm going to show you is what I've learned myself through experimenting and just through watching YouTube videos and what I found works for me. The reason I use Jekyll Black is because it's very cost-effective it's very easy to apply. I have tried other makeup brands in the past, but in my experience, they were either more difficult to use to get a finish that I was happy with, or it was they were more expensive. To start off with, I'm going to use the new Jekyll Black Blur and Matte Primer. It's taking a little bit on my fingers. I'm just going to use that anywhere that I just need to smooth out. So I do get a very oily nose, so I do target that bit. And obviously, like very many trans women, especially early on in our transition medically, I need to focus on my beard area, as that can get very rough and also very agitated, as you can see from spots on my skin. After I got the primer on, I then go on to the Jekyll Black Correct and Conceal Palette, and if I just pop this open, then you have the colour correct on one side and you have the concealer on the other. They, these do come in multiple shades so you can match your skin tone a bit better. Just going to go anywhere where my skin tone is a bit darker. So for me that's mostly focusing on my beard shadow. The good thing about this is you can layer it up so if you need to get a bit more coverage you can, which is really good news for me at the moment because I, whilst I have been having laser hair removal, I haven't had any for several months due to some reason or other. I'm sure you can probably figure out what that was, but I am looking forward to getting back to it, even though it really hurts. Um, but it's got really good coverage, so even though some of it's come back, I can still cover it up fairly easily. You can also use it to cover any dark areas under your eyes or cover up any acne. Once I've gone over with the colour corrector, I just go over that again with my concealer. So you can put this underneath um, foundation if you need to, which is always helpful. But for my day to day, I just tend to stick with just the concealer because it forms a solid base. So I'm going to have to move my highlighter because it keeps reflecting, sun keeps reflecting off it and giving me multicoloured faces. Now I'm happy with my base layer, got a nice even coat all over it. See, it blends in really nicely with my skin tone. Now that I'm finished with that one, I'm going to grab the Joker Black Sculpt and Soften palette. This is going to do a little bit of contouring. I don't go over the top with mine. If you're ever unsure what to do with your contouring, if you get a box from Joker Black inside, as well as the palette, you have a very handy little guide there that's been written by Jessica. Um, Got lots of handy tips in there, well worth a read. So grabbing my brush and the palette, I'm just going to take the sculpt darker colour there. So working it into my temple around the edge of the hairline. Now I am quite lucky that I have a fairly good hairline. Obviously it's a problem for some trans women that one. But I do have quite a large nose. So I like to put a little bit on the side of my nose, which I'll then blend in, just to try and minimise it a little bit, you know. I like to look, put a little bit underneath my lips, just to accentuate them just a tiny bit more. Then I'm going to take the lighter shade and just try and exaggerate certain areas. So I want to try and make my face appear a bit more rounder. Just going to accentuate my cupid's bow. I think I've got quite a nice one, so I'm going to play to my advantages there. Now I've got that on, I'm just going to blend that into my skin a little bit more. And now that's my base pretty much finished. So pretty much all using Joker Black products there. Just a powder just to seal it in. Um, once I've finished with that, I tend to go onto my eyebrows. Then do a little eye makeup. I tend not to go too extreme with it, but that's up to me. You can go as 
hard or as soft with it as you like and then just finish it up with a little highlighting and some lip makeup that's my look pretty much finished off now just going to finish it with this jacket black plain new lipstick and there we go now i do love jacket black um partly because of how easy it is to use but also because their values align with mine really well so I really do enjoy using their products as well as it being really easy to use and it's not that expensive compared to some others. Gotta say I'm loving this new primer, it's really nice. <laughs> it's really easy to use and it provides a nice surface to apply makeup onto. Right. Thank you so much for watching guys, bye bye!